This problem involves uh, trying to understand what's happening in the subsurface by measuring things at the surface. And uh, basically what's going on here is we've got some measurements of rainfall, stream flow, ET, uh, at the surface. And we're asking whether uh, we can use this information to determine whether the groundwater is leaving the watershed uh, or perhaps it's flowing into the watershed. So here's the problem. We'll draw the watershed in cross-section. There's the water table. And we'll put a boundary like this. So this is our control. Well, let's first draw the, the fluxes. So here's the precipitation and ET. Those things are given the runoff, the stream flow is given. And here's some groundwater. And we're asked to determine whether the groundwater is uh, flowing in or flowing out, um, or perhaps neither. In the previous problems, we've assumed that there was no groundwater flowing in or out. So that could be the case here. So there's the sketch. And then the control volume is drawn like so. And we say that the precipitation in equals the ET out plus the runoff out plus groundwater out. Now, I should point out that we could have drawn this the other way with groundwater flowing like that into our problem region, in which case groundwater would have just appeared over on this side of the equation here. But that's not how we did it. So we have our balance. This is our uh, volume balance. And we're interested in what the groundwater is, so we solve for it. And we just have P minus ET minus the runoff. And that equals 60 minus 25 minus 25. And so it looks like, and let's see, I should write this as groundwater out. So it looks like groundwater out is equal to 10 inches per year. So the groundwater is indeed flowing out, at, and that's the flux averaged over the watershed. Now, if uh, the, this situation would have occurred, where the groundwater is in fact flowing in, then we would have had something like this, where the precipitation, say, the rainfall, say it was 40 inches. In which case, what we would have is that there's more water flowing out in the stream and AT than is falling as rain. So the water must have been must be coming in from somewhere, and in this case, it would be for the from the groundwater. And so, if we did this, if we set the problem up like this, what would happen is, if you can see, if that's 40, then this ends up being minus 10, okay? So this, this problem that we showed here, it would have worked just fine for the groundwater flowing in or out of the basin, but if the groundwater, if we're labeling it here as groundwater out and the groundwater is flowing in, then we would get a minus sign here.